Okay, guys, here's a, a super kit. When you get a super kit, you'll either get the Maxi Fuse, whichever one you order, the Maxi Fuse like this, or the Auto Reset Circuit Breaker like this. Okay, so this will be ready to go, and you just hook it to your battery, you'll be all set. Um, the confusion, or not confusion, but some that I don't want to have anybody confused with is here's the connector that you will hook to your three stator wires that you'll cut and strip to go in here. Okay, I give you guys a way to do it so that you can put on the end like so, this barrel end, crimp here, put your other one in the other side, crimp it, and heat shrink. Make sure your heat shrink's on there before you solder. Okay, if not, you'll have to take it apart and do it again. But sometimes you may have to cut a strand or two off this because these are really nice and really tight. And the reason why I do this is that the next size is huge, which I have sitting here, okay? The next size is just, it's just so huge. And your bike stator wires are usually a lot smaller. This is 12 gauge and they're usually 14 or 16 gauge and some of them have been 18 gauge, it's really small. So to make it, you know, the best possible, I make it so that if you do need to cut a strand off this, it's, it's no big deal. You know, there's still plenty here. It's 12 gauge and once you solder it, it fills that gap anyway. So you have this, you plug in your stator in here, solder, then heat shrink, slide your heat shrink over, solder it down. So pretty easy for your, you know, guys with the super kits. Also, if you don't have any way to solder anything, and that's probably why you order a super kit, is that Here's the other way to do it. You get three of these connectors. These are heat shrinkable butt connectors. And you'll crimp down this side really well. Put your stator on the other side. Crimp it down really well. Then heat this up and it'll shrink down really nice and seal your wire up. So I give you both ways to do it in the kit so you know that, you know, that's why you have both in there. Some people call me up and say, hey, I got both in there. This is why. So you got either way to do it. If you can solder or can't solder, um, so that's it. So that's, that's the finishing up for your stator.